Had I gone to work for the railroad, and I didn't like being a porter, I could have said, the hell with it, and walked away. But once you put your hand in the air, and I was trained, you're going to be a man, you keep your word. Stuck for six years. Fight for my country, shiny shoes. That was bitchly to me. I stayed angry through the entire war. I did. I subdued it somewhat as time went on, because otherwise I'd have wound up in nuthouse. But uh, those early days, before the war started, and after the and the war was brand new, it was recognized I wasn't a good servant. Early on, I always remember the the humorous thing. I had the what they call the pantry watch in the wardroom. We're all steaming around out there in Guadalcanal area in that campaign. And they all come down to relieve the watch, these officers. And here you are with this damn tray, and it's got sugar and cream in the coffee pot, blah, blah, blah. And this damn JG says, Hold it, got that tray still, goddammit! The look I gave him must have been murderous because the executive officer put me on report. And when I went to execs mast, because I didn't know I was on report until the master arms came for me, he says, you got a 10 o'clock with the execs mast. I said, oh, for crying out loud. So the exec told me, he says, I put you on report. Why, you know, you don't ask why, you just keep your mouth shut and stay at attention. I don't like your attitude. I wound up captain to the head. Best goddamn job I had on the ship. I didn't shine anybody's shoes but mine. I cleaned the heads and the showers and our living spaces. The only time they ever saw me in the wardroom country was when I came up there to eat and I disappeared again. <laughs>